Hi everyone, Infinity here. Today's adventure sees us spawn in at Electro. After getting some basic starting gear and cooking up a chicken, I run into a friendly player who seems quite confused by the game. Hello? Hey man, I'm in the house here. He ran off. I probably scared him away with the invite into the house. I then just found him at a house down the road where we had a conversation. Ah, oh, hello, I found you. What are you doing, sir? <laughs> he seemed unresponsive, so I moved on to kill the chicken to the house next to him. Hear me, mate? I gotcha. You alright? Do you need a hand? Nah, I'm all good, I haven't played for ages. Well, let me give you some chicken. There you go. That can get you on that can get you on your way. Thanks, mate. All good, bud. <laughs> Following this interaction, I said goodbye. And I went to the military tent and the police station to grab some gear. Ooh, a pistol, that will come in handy. Don't really need a smoke grenade though. Ooh, a BDU jacket, I will definitely take that. That is mega. Can't cut that up though. All right, let's, uh, let's head to the police station then. Oh, box of ammo as well. Got a weapon with ammo, beautiful. At the police station, I ended up finding a BK-133 and an M-Lock as well. Unfortunately, the M-Lock didn't have magazine, but the shotgun did come with some ammo. Following this, we went to the well to get some water. I will then run into my friend again. Ah, oh, hello sir. How are you? Hello. You doing well, bud? Oh, you're sick. You're sick. Oh no. You should go up to the hospital and get some um, tetracycline pills, brother. <laughs> I got some chicken if you need. I could tell immediately that this was the same person I ran into earlier and that he wasn't going to be a threat. So after seeing him almost get molested by a zombie, I decided to help him out. I can give you a knife if you want, that's going to be a lot stronger than uh, a stick. I got like six on me bro, I've been taking them all. Just take one. Here yeah. you go. There you go, on the ground for you. On the ground for you. That's gonna help. <laughs> you need to get up to the hospital ASAP though, otherwise you're gonna um, die of sickness if you don't get water and food into you. Have some food as well. Oh, you're bleeding. There you go, now you're not. Now you're gonna live to see another day. Direction is the hospital. Uh, I'll take you up there if you want. I need to go as well. So, do you want to team up for a bit? Just go a bit better against the zombies? Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Just keep your distance because if you come within three meters of me, I can catch your cold and I don't really want that. After agreeing to go to the hospital together, I thought I'd get him to drink some water on the way to the hospital as he needed it to build immunity. Following this, we went up to the hospital together. Alright, the hospital's just this building here, so there's a. Uh, Three to four zombies usually. I'll get this one on the left. You go get the one on the right. Here's your knife. So make sure you block by walking backwards and holding right click. And then you can block. And then you wait for them to hit you twice. So always just walk backwards from a zombie like this. Watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. So you just walk backwards, and then you wait for them to do their hit, and then you go one, two, and then you immediately walk backwards again. Just like that. Not a single hit. After teaching my new friend how oh, to combat bro, zombies, we couldn't find any of the necessary medical supplies to fix him. So we decided here? that getting food was the next best way to heal up. Anything here? Alright, beautiful, we're cooking. We are on. Quickly eat this right now. Eat that plum there, that, that'll give you a couple seconds of life. That'll give you a second or two. Alright. 
Good stuff. I've still got that chicken. Oh, you got the chicken I gave you originally. Eat that now. Yeah, definitely eat that now. So, after eating this chicken, we decided that it'd be a good idea to go scavenger the houses at the north of Electro and then go for a fish. We didn't stand a chance. Alright, here we go. Some more stuff in here. Beautiful. Oh, another zombie. He's not coming in. Don't waste your knife on them. If it's your only knife, just use your fist. We gathered some rags to make some rope so we can make a fishing rod with the bones that we found from the chicken zoo. Unless you need the knife to make the bags, do you? Yeah, so you can cut up shirts into rags, and then you can make make better things from that. Oh, beautiful. That's exactly what we needed. Two more rags. Because then we can make a fishing rod. Oh, do you need the knife in your hand? Yeah, so you look at the item with the knife in your hand and then it'll give you the option to craft rags. So you can uh, get two stacks of rags, that's six. You bring them together for a total of 12 and you can make a rope. We have a zombie, I think. Someone's down there. You need help, sir! Do you need help? <laughs> Got another freshie. Oh, he's, no, he's not friendly. He's going for the kill. Hold on, get in here, get in here, get in here. It was important to kill these zombies fast, as I didn't know what the other player would be trying to get up to. So we do that, and then we do a bit of housekeeping, and then we make our way to the fishing pond. Hold on, where did he go? Alright, let's get out of here, fuck this. Come on, we don't need to be here anymore. Nothing here. Alright, oh, you're bleeding again, hold on. Do you have your bandage? Just use it real quick. So bandage in hands, and then hold left click. Alright, beautiful, let's get going. So, first time back in two years. If you want to turn auto talk on, just double tap your caps lock button, and it will leave it on permanently, that's what I've done. Yeah. So, first time back in two years. Yeah, fair enough. The game's changed a lot. I was, I was playing a bit of scum. Oh, yeah? It's alright. Hi there. Bit of scum. I'm just gonna get another set of sticks so I can make a fishing rod. And then, yeah, we can start fishing. Oh, it's a shit, shit mark. Yeah, you probably gotta get a bit closer to it, that's probably why. I'm, I'm like literally like, mouth is on my mic at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, mine's pretty cheap. Yeah, mine was from Kmart for 40 you. bucks. <laughs> uh, attention all Kmart shoppers, we just got a big truckload full of cheap Chinese shit. Alright, uh, yeah, mine's like a $50 from uh, J-Car. Oh yeah, good old J-Car. I rarely use it. Do you, you have any it. more worms yet? I found, I picked up one. Another one on the ground, I'll take that one. If it would just keep digging up a couple, because we'll, if we can get like two or three fish, that'll keep us going for a very long time. Following this, we ended up right catching on. five fish and went up into the back of the woods to cook them up. Alright, so grab the stick now and it will let you probably roast it over the... Uh, it went onto your back, the stick, so if you head up into your inventory all the way at the top, where it says equipment, it'll be the second slot. After explaining the inventory system, we cooked up all the fish. Unfortunately, our friend accidentally ate some raw fish and got sick, so it was now our job to find some charcoal tablets at the medical centre up the road. Just be quiet here, there's so many zombies usually on the other side of this building. We just need to get you a set of charcoal tablets and then you're good. Crouching, no, Crouching means you don't alert the zombies to you. Alright, we're all sealed in here. Just need to find those tablets, if we're lucky. Unfortunately, after looting the entire building, we didn't find charcoal tablets, so we decided to make our way further north to head to Star Road to see if we could get lucky there. Beautiful. Well done. Alright. And, uh... 
Yeah, we're gonna just whack them off here. Just make sure you take a step back every hit, because you will move forward every hit. So just take a step back every now and then, and watch yourself. Thousand years later. Check their bodies because they have military loot sometimes. There you go, a box of ammo. That's uh, what is that? 45 ACP. I'll take that for my pistol. All uh, right. What we'll do is we'll check the tents now. Make sure there's some good stuff here, perhaps. It's a pair of assault boots. These boots are badly damaged, so don't bother taking them because they're just probably going to break again. Not really handy for us. There's a combat jacket in here though for you, which is very good. So you should wear this shirt here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the other jacket off. Yep, so you gotta take the other one off first, that's correct. After grabbing all the gear at the Electro Military Camp that's north of the city, we proceeded on to Star Wars. Yeah. Still got the same controls. Now up here is potentially a military convoy spawn point. If that's the case, it's gonna be like 20 cars on the road. And a ton of zombies, so we'll just jump up on top of a car. And, um, yeah, same thing, same again. Take him out. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Oh, it is here! It is here! No fucking way! Dude, this is mega. This is mega. After spotting the convoy, me and my buddy organized a plan to take the convoy in full. That's all good. Alright. So, each vehicle has two items usually. So check around, so there's a pouch here, and then there's a ghillie suit here, but ghillie suits are crap, so we won't take that. Um, check around here. There you go. Oh man, look at the fucking backpack in the back of the truck there. There's a mad backpack in the back of that truck. So if you stand at the back and jump up, you'll be able to go inside. Um, there you go. And then you can take the backpack. But what you want to do with that before you pick it up, take it to your hands and walk off the truck. So just hold F when you look at it, and walk off the truck now. Come down here, and then swap it over. Because the backpacks can sometimes glitch out over here. After looting up the whole convoy, there wasn't that much loot, but we did get a little bit of military clothing at least. Uh, then we made our way to Staroy, and checked up the medical center as soon as possible. You coming? All right, bandage up. We both need to bandage. Both gotta bleed. Close the door behind if you can. Got a blood bag there. No, unfortunately, you have to find them. Yep, found them in this pair of pants right here. Okay. So, grab those into your hand and just left click once. And it will let you take a pill. So, after finding the charcoal tablets, we had some of those and healed up properly. We then went to the police station next door to find some better gear. A lot of nerds trying to hide in here. Alright, this is for you. Whack that on. Right now. That's, that's a bulletproof vest that's going to protect you big time. So just press take, it'll put it straight onto you. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to take these pants, because my guy is... Not doing too well. What colour is your food and stuff? Food is white and the foot is yellow. Alright, take that sniper rifle in there, that's yours. After finding a sniper at the police station for our friend, we then went up to the Starboy military camp to obtain the final bit of gear before making our way inland. Just have to get down there. Weapons back out as soon as we're done here. Alright, nothing good there, that's alright. We'll check the, the military base then. There's a metal knife here, you can take that, that's going to be better for you. Way stronger, like a proper big knife. Just take it. Take grenade. Uh, don't, don't worry about grenades, they just get you killed. And then we'll never bother with grenades. Been there, done that. Dude, throw a grenade or something! Throw it! There's another jacket here, but we already got the best jackets. Some ammo here, I'll just take it all for now. That's in here. 
There's an AK here. I... Can you take the AK in your backpack? For now? There you go, awesome. Um, there's a pair of military pants here, so take these pants. These are the same to match your top. So after looting Starway Military Camp and getting some nice weapons, we then went to Sharkovka to back off and just take a break. Oh, the, um, we'll head the this way. icon's gone. Oh, the sickness is gone? Yeah! Oh. Okay, have one more. Have one more. Just in case, and then you should be good. Alright, let's head this way. We'll head to a town then and we'll get some water into here. We'll have a little loot around here because this doesn't look like it's been looted. So check some of the houses. That's a pristine hoodie. So we'll take that and we'll cut that up into some rags because pristine rags are fine to use. Yeah, that's it. Infinity that's Dawn. That's me. Awesome. Alright, well... What time is it? Probably dinner time for me as well. Yeah, I'm gonna... Je are you gonna be back on later tonight, or are you gonna be off for the rest of the day? No, no, I'm working in the morning, so I've gotta go to bed shortly, but yeah. Well... Thanks, John. Is John yeah, on it? John. My, I got a YouTube channel. Yeah, the channel's called Infinity Dawn. That's I might have actually... I might have, I might have seen it once or twice, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not a problem then. Right, I'm gonna disconnect over here. I'll uh, catch you around. Good luck with it. All right. Catch you. See you. Bye-bye.